What's good YouTube? Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with yet again another Figma figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the newest addition to the Kankolai franchise and it is none other than Tokitsukaze. Now right off the bat I'm going to tell you guys if you're not a Kankolai fan, if you're not a Tokitsukaze fan, uh, if you're just cherry picking the Kankolai girls then this is definitely a pass. I got this one from AmiAmi Ami and uh, yeah, I am quite pissed. Why? Well, there's nothing really wrong with the figure. Let's just get that out of the way. This figure on AmiAmi Ami cost me 6,800 yen. Now, what is that in US dollars? It's $60 for this particular figure. Now, normally I wouldn't be so ticked because uh, Figma, Good Smile, Max Factory, they usually do a good job by giving us lots of accessories, uh, great uh, sculpt, paint job, you name it. It's just everything, the whole package is just, it feels like I'm getting my money's worth. Now I know over time Figma has been kind of upping their price point but still I was still just going with it because I think they do a fantastic job. But this figure has really really ugh, it rubbed me the wrong way. Now why do I say that? Well first thing is first let's take a look at her accessories. So what do you get with this particular figure? You get the display base, you get this purse slash turret piece that a lot of the other smaller Kankolai girls come with. You get this right here, the manual, that showcases how to put the actual turret purse thing on her. You pull off the head, you slide it over her shoulders and around her neck and then put the head back on. Very simple. So you get that. You get the standard Figma goodie back. You get this piece right here, this extra piece, just so you could get her in some more dynamic poses. You get two face plates. You get this winking one, done very, very nicely. You get this one right here, which is, she's kind of just looks dazed. That's the best way I can put it. So that's that, done very nicely as well. And then this is where it starts to kind of really irk at me. Now, maybe it's because I didn't pick up any Figmas recently, but I didn't, since when did they switch over to not giving us the rack of hands? Now, it might be something small and minute, and this baggie will do the job, but still, when I got a Figma product, I really liked the fact that they gave us that chunk of plastic to keep and store these hands because it just made you feel like they weren't trying to just milk you for your money. They were doing everything possible to give you uh, the best, I guess, experience possible when it comes to figure collecting. But that now to kind of go backwards and take that away it's just kind of annoying. Another thing that I'm really disappointed in Figma, Figma is the fact that long time ago, they used to provide you these little joints just in case you snapped one. But I don't see it in here at all. So that is very, very disappointing. I don't know who made that judgment call, but still, uh, if you're going to be charging $60 for a figure, you would expect, especially if it was a smaller character like her with not that many accessories, you would have thought that they would have included at least that. So that's it, guys. That's what you get with, Toki what's her name? To uh, Tokitsukaze. Wow, I'm so flustered that, yeah, I'm messing up her name. Guys, that really drives me insane. Now with that said, the figure is overall a very, very nice figure. I like it. Uh, she is a very cutesy type of character. She's not one of those bigger armored girls, but she is pretty awesome. I like uh, the attention to detail when it comes to her eyes and her face. I love her hair piece, as you guys can clearly see right there. The paint on, it looks like a little anchor. Um, it's done very, very nicely. That nice gold uh, is done 
it's applied very well. The black to gray right here is done very, very nicely. When it comes to her sailor outfit right here, it's the same sailor outfit that we've seen all with minor tweaks here and there. The color scheme obviously is different. The, um, this piece right here is different. So overall, nice job, I like it. When it comes to her lower half, you have these black stockings that she's wearing. Very, very nice. I like that it's darker up here and then it kind of gets lighter down here. The shoes we've seen time and time again and that's pretty much it. The one actual accessory that she comes with is this battle piece, battle uh, turret piece. Um, so there you go. So that's it. That's all you get for $60. If she was $30, I wouldn't complain at all. I think I would have thought, hey, this is an amazing figure. But for $60, that's it? Come on, Figma. You can do better than that. With that said, let's take a look at her articula articulation. The head can fully rotate. She can pivot left and right, so no problems there. The arms can f go out, can fully rotate. Um, bicep swivel built in right there. Figma joint right here for better than 90 degrees. Hands can fully rotate and can pivot no problem. When it comes to her uh, upper diaphragm, it's there, but it's hindered by this solid um, sailor suit. So keep that in mind. When it comes to her legs, it can go out that far. There is a thigh swivel built in. It's underneath this. When it comes to her knees, Figma joint right there, so awesome joint movement there. The feet can go all the way down, can go all the way up, and it can. there's the ankle rocker built in. So, all in all, this is a pretty good figure. I like it. It gets the job done. It per portrays the character nicely, but for $60, I definitely don't think this is worth it. What's your thoughts on this? Please leave a comment down below telling me, is am I being too harsh on Figma? Um, is this worth $60 to you? If it is, let me know because then I maybe I'll be convinced and I'll be a little bit more happy with my purchase. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you like what you saw, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And with that said, guys, thank you for watching. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and until next time, guys, this is Daybreak Sum 48 and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.